Hey, what it do, YouTube? Hope everybody's doing well. Boy, Eyes and Ears Tactical. Uh, back here, another video. Man, I just want to uh, talk about a couple things real quick. So I wanted y'all to see something really quick. This is interesting. So, you know, I'll think about building an AR 9mm pistol carbine, you know, like an ARP 9mm though. And I didn't want to buy another, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's just a whole nother setup. But if you look here, Delta Team Tactical, you can just buy this adapter that takes Glock mags in the bulk carrier group for $149. And you can slap that in your regular AR upper and attach that part to your uh, regular AR lower. And you can shoot 9 millimeter. Now, you still got to get the upper. But I was thinking, like, instead of buying a whole new setup, because I'm going to do a 300 blackout, I would just get these two parts and get the nine millimeter upper that's on Delta Team Tactical. And uh, they have a bunch of them for going for a couple hundred, only $200, some of them. And then I can just slap the upper on my seven and a half inch lower, put the mag adapter in there, boom, and the bolt carrier group, boom. And then, uh, well, I'll put the bolt carrier group in that in the nine millimeter upper. And then just put that mag adapter on there and I can shoot my Glock mags out of that and I have an ARP. So that's that's one of the things I was looking at and uh, I might be going that route. So we'll see. Um, and here goes some of the uh, nine millimeter uppers. They got kits and whatnot. I'm not doing all that. I'm just going to do it, get a plain upper and just uh, go from there. So I just want to bring that up, man. Just let you know that there's ways around it. And uh, you just got to think it through if you're in a restricted state, how you can get these things. And then when you have it in your house, just tear it all apart, the lower part from the upper part, and then, and then you're good. So that's that's my little tip for you. Just letting you guys know, man, I uh, I, I rocked this today, man. I, I was wearing this because I, I don't I don't wear it that much only on the weekends, but I really like this holster. And uh, after further review, um, I think the wedge is off. I, I've been rocking without the wedges. After further review, man, man, this thing is a lot more. It's a little, it's a little bit more comfortable than than the uh, modern samurai one. It's smaller. That's the one thing. It's smaller, so it feels real good. I put these clips back on, and uh, yeah, man, I, it, yeah, it's, this is an awesome holster. You don't even know you're wearing this thing. Sometimes it's so small, and I had the uh, Glock twenty three up in there today. So I was rocking the 40 cal, but uh, yeah, man, it, it, this thing is a really awesome holster. So if you're looking for a sidecar type holster and you only want to buy one, like I said, you don't have to get this with the light bearing because this is with the BLR 7 Alpha and you don't have to get it with that. You can get it without light and you will never buy another holster again. Um, so just something to think about. Tier one, they they doing a good job out there, out there in Utah. But what I was here for, since we're talking about the ARP, shout out to Osama Ben. Uh, shout out to Osama Ben Smoking. He don't like these things. He thinks this is a a lame kit. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you, buddy. He uh, he said, man, get a real ARP, you know, instead of this. And I was just thinking, like, well, this is this is the workaround for people who was in a restricted state that couldn't get it. And so when these came out, they sold a crap ton of these, and uh, they still do sell a ton of these, and they shoot really good. And that's why people bought them because you can be versatile with them. You can you can have it in a pistol form or the ARP form. So you have two in one. So I just want to review it again because someone asked about it. And I'm thinking about, you know, I was like, hey, man, you know, so I want you all to see all the features and stuff on there. And I got this one fully loaded when I bought it like three or four years ago. Um, I'm not going to read all that stuff. You can just read it yourself right there. And, and that, that's why I got this fully loaded because when you buy these, they come stripped down. They don't come with all this stuff that you bought to see. So I just want to make sure you guys understand that. But, you know, a lot of people build uh, ARPs, but again, this can suffice as a truck gun, and then you can go back into pistol form when you're done. So you got the folding stock right there, brace. Uh, they got their little proprietary little, I don't know, proprietary. They just basically inbust, and they put their little uh, logo on there. Um, you know, flip up sights. And I put this little reflex sight on here just to have something on there. Let me see if I can get this on. Let 
I think the better. Oh, there it is. And this is green and red, I think. Mm hmm. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. They got the they got the green red. They got different reticles too. So the reticles are right here. You can just do the dot. Big dot with the circle. And let me put this site down. And then you got crosshairs. And then that one with the circle with the crosshairs. So you got all those and it's red too. So you can toggle from that to red. Where's the red at? Okay, there's the red. Trying to come up. Let me see. There it is. There's a red. So yeah, you got green and red on here, which is not bad. I mean, it's just a, it's just a little you know kit. So I just do it on there just to have something instead of nothing. And let's see what else we got on here. I'm trying to turn this thing off so the battery don't die. Okay, there we go. And you got a uh, ambidextrous thumb rest on both sides. And you got this proprietary light right here. Look at this bright. And if you the thing about this light, I'm going to show you something real quick. So with this light, it's a, it's a pressure pad. So it's on both sides. So you got the pressure pad right here. And you got the pressure pad right here. But on this light, when you go to the range, be careful because you see how that slides out. So it's just a fake little back right there and so one day i was at the range i was shooting and i looked down the thing was gone it was sitting down at the bottom so make sure when you put this in i'll show you how you i didn't have it all the way pushed in so you want to hear that click see that let me do that again you will hear it right now watch so that's the click you want and then it's in there and a little shroud and it has a little hand grips right here keep your hand back here um what else we got picatinny rail uh, the charging handle this is the this is the upgraded model like i think gen 2 or gen 3 whatever with the, this is built inside so you don't lose it it used to be like you have to sit on top of your pistol and then put it in and people would lose it and they would complain about that and that's the little door red mean is locked and to unlock it you push it down see how it's not red no more and then when you close it it turns red and this holds and it shows you all the models that this that of glocks this is a, this is built for glocks they make these for mmp cz's all kind of stuff and then if you look in here you will see all the models that it holds glock 17 18 19 19x 22 23 31 32 and 45 that's all the models that this thing holds yep and it doesn't fire in the folded position i mean it can because there's no buffer tube you can do it but it'll be awkward as hell so and this is how you depress that so you can technically shoot it like that because no there's nothing back there but that'll be stupid i don't know why you would do that but yeah you could i guess and yeah so it's a pretty good looking kit man you know so i'm uh take this out and start shooting it a little bit more not anytime soon because i'm stocking up on ammo right now Shooting. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be shooting a lot of 22 and I just wanna let you guys see how that looks inside of there. Let's take this, it, uh, this doesn't work with the light, so you gotta take the light off. And this one doesn't work with the um, with a red dot either. They have like the new ones, you can put a red dot on them. So, uh, but I'm, I won't be buying any more of these. This is just like, like before COVID and they came out and the Glock store here in San Diego was selling the shit out of them because we can't have those ARP. Well, you can, but you got a tax stamp and all that shit. It's so expensive to have it. But you can buy all the parts and then go to a range or go to the desert and shoot it. So you slide that in like there. I guess I should have showed you that instead of just doing it. To take it out, you see these tabs right here? Little tabs. There's, there's two. There's one on each side. And basically, you just pull those down and pull the pistol back. And then the way you put it in... You see that little charging handle? 
that little gap right there is where the sights sit. And then where the honeycomb starts is where the pistol go. And so you, you go nose first like that and then slide that in. Make the slice go right into that back part, and then it'll sit down in there. You see how it's sitting down in there, and then you just slide it forward and lock forward. Okay, and then well, let's get it all the way up there. I don't think it's all the way in there. Hold on, let me see here. Okay, there we go, and then you just close the door. And that's how it looks inside of there. And uh, yeah, like I said they hold, it holds several different, several different uh, pistols, and that's what's cool about it. So this one is like the Glock 23. So, so the Glock, I got the Glock 23. So now you got you got 40 cal in there, and so that's how it looks when the door is closed. See red. You're locked in there. And let me take this mag out so I can show you how that. And it works just like an AR 15 charging handle because it's ambidextrous on both sides. And you just basically something in there. You can see the barrel's empty. So it works just like an AR 15 charging handle. And you could put, if you had the 32 round sticks, you could put those in here. That'll look pretty sick like hanging out there you see some cats had those 32s sticking out and that'll be six 66 rounds right there and this little tiny ass little package that'll be pretty sick how many inches is this thing from the rooter to the tutor about a little less than 22 inches Yep, and then when you fold it up, so you can put this in your truck or a backpack. Now it's really small. Let's see what it is. A little under 15, 15 inches. So that's pretty small package, man. Yeah, that's the MCK kit, man. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You got the little QD's quick detach sling right here. If you don't want it on, you just pop it right on off. Put it back on. So you got your sling. Also, it's a little detached right there. So, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about that MCK kit. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm sure they're not really popular, but just for somebody that was in a restricted state or somebody who wanted to have a AR pistol, nine millimeter pistol or 40, like I said, this is 40 cal. You can put nine in there, 40 in there, whatever you want. Um, and then you don't want to be locked into having it as a as a pistol rifle. You could just pop the pistol out, put it in your, in your holster, you know, and then and go back to being a concealed carry guy. You know what I'm saying? So kind of like that concept, how you can do that, you know, go from ARP to back to pistol. Let me know what you guys think, man. Pretty neat little kid. I mean, like I can say it's not something that's going to entice people who can go buy actual ar pistols and stuff like that but you know for someone on a budget or just don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff and then you can have this as home defense and like i said you're in a free state you can have 32 round sticks that'll get you through the little trouble you know saying it shoots real light no recoil so let me know what you guys think man the mck kid is it you know is it is it past his time should we move on and they're still a viable option man it's your boy eisner tackle man like comment subscribe everybody stay blessed Peace.